Hi guys, you're on VRAM24.com and today we will disassemble Honor X9A. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool. By the way, please notice the tray is located at the bottom and pull out the tray for two SIM cards. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature about 65-70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. As we can see, the temperature we have is rising to the temperature we need. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can move to detach the back cover. But before we open the back cover, I will tell you about a little secret. The thing is that inside the black rim there is a cover that detaches separately and under it there is a screw that fixes the back cover. We need to use a special suction cup which we attach to this cover and heat the cover slightly with a hair dryer. This cover is not easy to open, but in our case the cover has already been tried and it will be easier for us to do it. Under the cover hide this one screw, which we unscrew with a Phillips screwdriver hash 3 And now we can take a thin plastic film and start opening the back cover. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it lengthwise. We can use a little isopropyl alcohol to dry the adhesive base. We always need to be careful around the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor, because this area may have cables that can be damaged. We should also be careful in the area of the cameras, so as not to damage the lenses. This cover has been attempted to be opened before, so it will be much easier for us to do it. And we open the back cover. We have the flashlight elements on the cover. And we move on to unscrewing the screws. We use a Phillips 1.5 mm screwdriver or hash 3 o The screws are badly magnetic. Some of the screws are uh, hidden under the adhesive. So we need to be careful and remember to unscrew all screws not one to miss. And since the screws are badly magnetic, we need to use additional tweezers and take them out so that they don't interfere with the removing the cover. Our tweezers have ceramic tips so that we don't uh, short-circuit anything on the motherboard. And we can detach the cover hiding the motherboard. Then we disconnect the battery connector. We use a non-metal tool. 
and we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. The screws are all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. And since the screws are not magnetic, or rather they are not magnetic at all, we also use tweezers to remove them. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector bracket and the connector itself. Then we disconnect the interboard cable connector bracket and the connector itself. And we can detach the speaker assembly by hooking the edge and lift it off. There is also a small board associated with the antenna system, my guess. And we disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector and the connector of the other coaxial cable. We also need to unscrew one screw that secures the subboard. Then from the edge we carefully hook the subboard and pull it out. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and cards holder on the inside. In the display frame we have the fingerprint sensor and the vibration motor. And we move on to detaching the rear cameras. Gently hook the connectors and pull them out. It is better to hold the cameras by the body so that they don't fly out and we don't damage their lenses. After that we can disconnect the connector of the interboard cable and the connector of the display and two connectors of two coaxial cables. After that, we need to unscrew one screw that secures the front camera cover and the motherboard. It is important not to mix up the screws that come one at a time when reassembling, so as not to damage anything. Then we remove the cover that holds the camera in place. And we can detach the front camera. Now we move on to detaching the motherboard. Find a convenient place for us, hook by the edge and remove the circuit board. The motherboard is on the both sides. And now we have to remove the battery. Traditionally, for Honor, we have three tabs. We need to read the brown tabs on which one we need to pull. And we need to unwrap all of them so that they do not prevent us from detaching the battery and do not hold it. And as it become clear to us from the description, we have to pull the tab with the number 3. 
gently pull it upwards, detaching the battery. And with the other hand we hold the display frame on the edges. As we can see, the battery is also held on the transparent protective coating, which protects the interboard cable and the display cable. And we have removed the battery. And that is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video okay guys now we're done thank you for watching if you like what we do please consider subscribing to our youtube channel or read our articles on our website take care of yourself and until next video